FinCamp to me is a community. Uh, it's a community of many people's friends and relatives. Um, it's a place of relaxation, uh, a place to socialize with friends, um, and uh, a place to enjoy the, the natural beauty that we have, the lake, enjoy the sauna, um, um, enjoy the social events and the cultural events that are, uh, that are happening. It was such a relaxing place to be that when I would hit Benstein Road, I would just, all the work stuff would just fade away and I could be coming to Finn Camp and it would be, it's almost like your private place. It, it, it's not because it's owned by so many people, we, you know, we've got close to 200 members, but it's just this wonderful relaxing place, the trees and the water, the camps. The original members uh, purchased the property in 1925. One of the first things they built were, was a sauna and a dance hall and then an outdoor kitchen. I've been a member my whole life. Um, both of my grand, well, all of my grandparents were founding members. I usually say my grandfathers, but my grandmothers were active also. So um, since 1925, they were founding members and uh, I've grown up my, here my whole life. I was born in 43, so I've been here for 75 years, and uh, it's the best place anybody could grow up. It's a fantastic place. Passing on the traditions like of our heritage, our music, our food, it's a way for us to become more of a community, to work together. We're passing on our ancestors. I mean, going all the way back even to Finland, some of our traditions, our Johannes traditions, even the music is being passed on from generation to generation. The founders of the Finn Camp brought this music with them from Finland, and it's like they're continuing to share it with us, even though they're no longer with us, but we're, they're still sharing it with us, and it gives us all, I think, a sense of community, and it's really important that we continue to celebrate and pass it on, and I think it, honors our founding members and our heritage. It's full of nature, lots of peace and tranquility, um, family and friends, generational friends, um, which is one thing that I can say is probably the best thing about this place is that there's a lot of people who are related, but not everybody is. Um, but our families have known each other for so many generations that you know we're all family, even if not by blood. We're all Finnish family. That's how I feel of this community. It's a small family of Finnish people that did get together with their friends and enjoy a beautiful place. Initially, the general membership meetings were in Finnish. And then after a while, the membership meetings were in Finnish and we had to translate it to English. And then the meetings became English and translated to Finnish. Now all of the general membership meetings are in English. It shows you what, what's happened to people knowing the language. People didn't know, if you told them that you were going out to the Finn camp, they'd say, where is that? You'd say, Wixom, Michigan. Where is that? Where the old Ford plant is. And oh, okay, now I know where it's at. It wasn't, people just didn't know we were out here. It was more secluded, quieter. You didn't have a lot, as much traffic that you do now. But as far as some of the, like the camp life, um, I think there were more people living in the camps, but camp life itself hasn't really changed that much other than now we have showers in our bathroom, our community bathrooms, and the road's been paved, but a lot of it has stayed the same, and we like that. <laughs> Finnish people, the common Finnish heritage, coming together to keep their children aware of their Finnish heritage. We do promote the children here. We teach swimming lessons every summer and have a play. And it's, it's about families and 
having a good time in a beautiful place. Fin Camp has a lot of members who enjoy swimming in Sun Lake. The two docks that are in Sun Lake, the one with the diving tower and the other dock, which we consider the call the fishing dock, is 50 meters apart, or have, were actually built 50 meters apart so that they would be the length of what an Olympic sized pool is. But I, probably actively right now, there's maybe 20 people that probably utilize Sun Lake as uh, their summer swimming between the docks or even across the lake. Some, we even have one member who trains for triathlons. Um, others water jog. Others just like to float in the water, you know, go out there and enjoy the lake. It's a deep lake, so you do have to be able to swim. And others just like jumping off the diving tower, or we do have some who are quite the divers. Third deck at Sun Lake, about 30 feet high. I still jump off. Probably went off 10 times this summer. The beginning of summer, I always say, well, let's go see if we can do it this year. Oh, swimming is just a number one. <laughs> Although a lot of people don't go in and when it's really cold, I've I've been known to swim in December, so, but we have a couple members who come and swim regularly, no matter how cold the dang water is. So um, it's, it's a beautiful lake, it's spring fed, it's private. Nobody can come here without our permission. And we have a uh, ruling by the Michigan Supreme Court to support that. So we've had people who try to tell us that, no, we can't keep it private because it's water, it's waterway. I says, no, no, we, we get to keep it. We're private. For safety reasons, since we don't have a lifeguard, we tell the kids before you jump off one of the levels or at the bottom, you are to yell, going off first, going off second, going off third, some whatever applies, and make sure that no, nobody's gonna jump into each other. So it's a, a big safety thing, and even the kids who are non-members who come visit soon learn that this is a rule that you have to follow, or out you go. So the tower is a rite of passage out here at the Finn Camp, and if you ever come out here and jump in the lake, and even start walking up those stairs, you're expected to jump off. There's no walking down the stairs. So as a child, it was always something, sort of a bragging right, like I jump off there, that's the top, so. I don't jump off three. I don't, I probably, the last time I jumped off the third tower was in the 70s. <laughs> I don't do it anymore. And I don't, I jump off a of first and maybe off the fishing dock and that's about it. Heck yeah, I have. All, I jumped off third when I was a kid. I don't do it anymore. The last time I did it was probably about 50 years ago on a dare and, uh, and after I did it I said I'd never do it again. <laughs> We have a lot of different Finnish or more Finnish American foods, such as pasties and moyaka, and those are mainly served at, well, some of our, our tolku every year. We have our two tolkus maybe throughout the year at one of our Johannes Finfest or maybe another event. We have a, we have been having a moyaka cook-off every year, too, that people bring their own version of what they make, which may include gulla moyaka, which is a fish stew version of moyaka, which is a beef stew. So we have those two, or liha moyaka would be the beef stew. So we have those, and as far as pasties go, that just kind of comes, I think, not just with Fin Camp, but with Michigan. It just seems to be that Upper Peninsula or Uper food that has been served here for, since I can remember. And we also, though, occasionally have bulla, or as I grew up hearing it, nisu or nisua, 
and that's a sweet bread that's often served with coffee with some butter on the side you know on it and that's usually made by some of our members or we have banugaku or as i heard it called grups krupsua and that's the oven pancake and that's been i'm seeing that being served more this past summer than before and also birikas which are just small little karelian pastries or I believe they're rice filled with, you might serve them with an egg on top, a little bit of boiled egg on top. So at Fin Camp, we have the best sauna that I've ever been to, but I've never been to Finland. And to me, the sauna is a great place to socialize with the people that you care about. And it's a great place to tell stories, especially old stories from Fin Camp back in the day. It's one of my favorite places to meet with the older folks of Finn Camp and hear the stories about my grandparents. Probably one of my favorite things I like about sauna. Yes, we can throw water on it. Uh, if anybody has only been to a hotel sauna, they don't know what a sauna is. Um, our rocks come from Lake Superior. I think you're supposed to throw hot water on them. I'm not sure, but we just throw water on them. And, um, and of course, that makes the whole room hotter. It comes in waves, usually two. Um, the higher you are, the more heat you feel. Um, if you get too hot, you could just go to a lower bench or you can go jump in the lake. That's our best thing. Sauna is great though. It's, um, it's just a cleansing of your whole spirit and not just your body uh, through you know sweating out the toxins and all all that, um, but it, it's just a whole, it's a social experience, you're visiting with people, it doesn't matter who you are in the sound, everybody's the same, it's just people. So it, it's one of our best features at Fin Camp, we love it. It's a vicious circle of taking a sauna, go and dive in the lake. Then you gotta warm up, then you're too warm, go dive in the lake. At some point you have to say, okay, now it's time to shower and go home. But you can never get enough of the sauna and jumping in the lake. They just go together. And we have the best lake, the cleanest, spring-fed sun lake. It gets hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Not as hot on the women's side as the men's side. They kind of like to challenge themselves, I think. Um, I kind of like it about 180 but they go over 200 easily and when it's that hot on the women's side i i don't like it how many people are naked <laughs> um you know not as many as there used to be when i was a kid i think everybody was naked i mean i remember the old ladies in there and it was just normal to be naked it wasn't until much more recently that people started wearing their bathing suits i mean if you're in and out of the lake, of course, you're wearing your suits, but once you're ready to um, wash, then you're naked, but not everybody does that anymore. So I would, I don't know, I would say 25% uh, at the most of the women, on the women's side anyway, um, would sauna naked. Winter, every year Winterfest in February, they cut this giant hole in the ice and it's tempting to jump in there, but I've never done it, but I think we get up to 60 to 80 people every February who are brave enough to jump into this icy water, come out just steam rising off their bodies, and then standing around a fire pit with everybody else fully clothed with mittens and gloves, and here they are in their swimsuits, just calm as can be, and. Then they go heat back up in the sauna. It's really a fun time and an interesting sight to see. We do, in February, saw a hole in the ice so we can jump in. And I always tell people they're sawing a hole in the ice. The least you can do is jump in. And it's great. I've been doing it for as long as they've been cutting the hole there. When it's cold out, that's it, the only way to go is to go sauna first and then jump in the lake. When they do the winter fest, if you don't go sauna first, you're dead. You're going to be so cold. Then after sauna and all of that's done, the um, they, uh, people go up to the club room and there's a chili cook-off. And there, again, at the club room is packed and everybody warms up with chili. Every, 
maybe up to 20 different chili entries and you might have judges checking you know deciding who wins this chili cook-off prizes are giving a dj a dance and it's another fun social event in the everyone has fun from the littlest to the oldest people it doesn't matter it's meant for everyone so Johannes is the celebration of midsummer or the summer solstice that's a tradition that goes back um, farther than Finland has been a country. Um, it's something that all ages can enjoy. We've got games and food and drinks and bonfires, and it goes on all day. Uh, at least here it goes on all day, but in uh, Finland it's a weekend celebration of sauna and uh, fun for the whole family. It's something that everybody can enjoy. This year we uh, incorporated Pesapalo, which is Finnish baseball. We also do a version of our own boot toss another favorite sport in Finland. Um, we award a trophy for the furthest throw. I think we had 118 feet or 119 feet this year is the farthest throw we've ever had. So I know we don't quite compare to those Finns from the homeland, but we're doing our best to try. During the evening of Johannes, we light a fire probably around 10 o'clock once the sun starts going down. Um, the band plays traditional Finnish music that you don't hear too much in the old country anymore, but everybody does their old dances, the polkas and the shadish and the ratiko, which is one of my favorites. And we light the fire and everyone has a great time. The play program, every year the children put on a play or a activity of some sort, depending on how many children they get, depending on who takes it to produce it, I guess, and um, so it varies year to year, but it, we always do it the first weekend in August. They have a swim meet on Saturday and a play that night, and then they also serve, after the play, they serve desserts to the, to the parents. They have, uh, it, it's their weekend, so they get to do what they, they want to do, pretty much. And Sunday we have a track meet, the dads do the breakfast, and they have a track meet afterwards in which the kids participate in various activities all at once so we get it all over with in about an hour but it just their day, their weekend i can't emphasize enough how important it is that we continue to celebrate our heritage our culture as being a big part of being a member at the fin camp it's it's more than just coming out here and just meeting with your friends and everything. It, it goes beyond that. I think when you walk into this space, which the concept of having the Finn camp with camps and a place for people to go and relax and just kind of unwind and a, for the summers and is a Finnish concept to begin with, with having mokis or camps by a lake is it's very Finnish. So I, I just think though the rest of it, the music, everything, it's, it's really important that we continue to really emphasize that and really celebrate even more than what we do now. So there are a lot of things that, that people can enjoy uh, at the association, on the association property. We've got a uh, softball field, uh, basketball courts, pickleball courts, um, as well as the, uh, uh, the lake for swimming, kayaking, canoeing, um, and we also have access to Loon Lake, which is, uh, allows uh, motorsports um, uh, on, on Loon Lake. Uh, just walking through the woods is, is beautiful, often on, uh, on a summer morning or a fall afternoon. Uh, it's, it's, a beautiful, it's a beautiful physical uh, structure that we have. We have a, a club room. The association has a club liquor license, uh, so members can buy alcohol in our club room. Uh, it's open Friday and Saturday all year round uh, and uh, Wednesday uh, during the summer. Memberships right now at Finn Camp are probably around, I'm going to say about 185 to 188, roughly in there. And it seems to always stay in there. We have different, for different variety of reasons people drop out or are no longer members and we get new members but 
it seems that the memberships stay the same. As far as who's part of that membership, which can be a spouse and children, that changes too. Sometimes we'll see a large influx of children of different ages, and then they grow up and go away for a while, and we'll have just, you know, just a few kids, and then it's like the kids that went away come back with their families, because and it starts all over, so it just seems to stay the same. We require each membership, not each person, but each membership, it's a family membership here, to work 24 hours a year, which is not very much, but a lot of people think it's overwhelming and they can't possibly do it but we need the work because we have 80 acres to take care of and we need a lot of work we have several buildings that need upkeep we have a lot of grounds that need upkeep we've got branches down that will have to be picked up tomorrow um, but there's always activities we have a um, we have a kitchen that we have um, Different committees handle breakfast, hopefully, throughout the summer. Um, we, there's, all the activities require workers. We have festivals, we need a lot of workers. So the work hours are critical to our cooperative spirit um, and to keep the Finn Camp going, it's really critical. Families who join the Finn Camp in the beginning pay an extra hundred dollars. There's subsequently any of their children that hundred dollars is waived and that doesn't include their um, hundred twenty dollar shares that they everyone is required to purchase. But the advantage of being out here with like as a family member and already having family members here you get to share in all your the enjoyment, the cultural activities um, you have built-in babysitters sometimes if you want to go to a dance or something. It's really a nice, um, it's a family experience. It's almost like having a, sometimes having a family reunion every weekend in the summer because everybody's down there, your whole family, maybe even your cousins, aunts, uncles. Eventually it starts to grow and it's, it's a nice place to meet where everyone can just sit and have a good time and pretty much, eventually you'll get to know everyone and everyone becomes one big family out here. Dolores and I, with our three children, Rain, Kevin, and Aaron, have really enjoyed being at the Finn Camp all these years. I'm pleased to say, to see the association has continued to function well during that time. And that's what I wanted to add. Finn Camp is always looking for and welcoming new members to the association. Anyone thinking of being a member and is of Finnish descent should either, I suggest they first come out and ask if they can visit the Finn Camp so that they can really see what's all involved with being a member out here. It's just, it's a great place. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>